What's up, guys? Eric Lima here, host of the People's Lima here on YouTube. Just to uh, let everybody know, now we went. I went to the funeral today of my good friend Mark Supernot, who who uh, passed away Monday morning after a brief and courageous battle um, against cancer. And uh, people say, "Oh, cancer beat him. You know, he's gone." Well, technically, cancer did not win because he's in a better place now. Where there's none of it at all. He's free of that cancer. He's definitely free of it. It's a place where it's not going to come, it's not allowed up there. And that's heaven. You know. Just, uh, like I said, Mark has been uh, a big influence in my life you know, when I was little and I was young. He's like, he was like the big brother I never had. And, uh, and as he grew, spiritually and as I'm grown up physically he you know he had the desire you know he had the desire he had that heart and um, he loved his wife he loved his daughters you know and just like I said it's been like I said like I said in the previous videos he's one of a kind you know I truly am I truly will miss him and you know I just want to let you know just be you know, let you let you guys know out there. You know, if you if you have lost a loved one, whether it's to cancer or some other disease or even a sickness or even a heart attack or something like that, remember, remember all the good times you had. You know, you had with that person, with that loved one. You know, be strong. You know, never give up. You know, just you know, encourage others. You know, you comfort them, they'll comfort you. You know. You know, pray that they you know they go to a better place and they're they're in a better place. You know, where no more suffering, no more pain. You know, as um, Pastor Dave was my pastor, David Lima was uh, presiding over the funeral service. I, uh, you know, as hearing the scriptures being read by him. I close my eyes and just, you know, think about, you know, all that Mark has done. And, uh, he was, like I said, Mark had that desire. He's always, you know, gung-ho about, you know, going cycling or, you know, doing the Pan Am Challenge. And he, he was, he was very active, you know, and, uh, like I said, and he likes to cause, he likes to be a little bit of a troublemaker, too, and according to my father, he was. But you know he likes having fun. That's that's him. You know he, he has a laugh. You know in, is that laugh? And, you know, yeah. He's, you know we may not be able to hear it again when we're here on Earth, but I'm sure we'll be able to hear it again in heaven. And just let you know. Like I said, I want to encourage everyone out there. You know, just don't give up. You know, if you if you or another loved one is fighting some kind of disease. Continue the fight. Continue the battle. Never give up. All right. But, or there's any challenges in your lives or in your loved ones' lives, you want to help that person or that person wants to help. Don't give up. I implore you, do not give up. My catchphrase for 2012 is is win hard. And if you're going on Twitter, you hashtag hashtag it. You know, win hard. Win hard. That means you work hard to succeed that's my succeed in life in every facet of life in everything that you do any, anything you put your hands on and touch you work hard at it you know anything that matters in your life you work hard at it and succeed with it that's meaning the definition of win hard you see to, to me, you know, my goal here on YouTube is not to be the most popular celebrity star. Because I'm not Justin freaking Bieber, thank God. You know? I'm Eric Lima, not Justin Bieber. Alright? I'm not... I'm Eric Lima, not Ray William Johnson. I'm Eric Lima. That's who I am, and I'm proud of who I am. People like me for me. That's why I call myself the People's Lima. Because I am loved by people. Because people like me. Because I do things like this. I want to go out. My goal here on YouTube is to, you know, spread, you know, spread a positive message out there of love and care and just, you know, let everybody know that, you know, I like to cheer people up. I like to make people laugh. 
Even my videos could be the lamest ever on the planet. That's why I dubbed this the lamest show on YouTube. And that way I want to get people to watch and see why is it lame? Why why is it so lame? You know? But I know in reality, in reality, in a lot of people's opinions, they're not lame. You know? A lot of people a lot of people uh, a lot of you people out there think, Oh yeah, it's lame. You know, listen, it's my 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 family's basement, you know, I live in you know, you know what? It doesn't bother me because I have a family that always supports me and loves me for who I am. And just, I praise God for that. You know, I, and I praise God, you know, for all the friends on Facebook that I've been, you know, when I worked over at Ruby Tuesdays, I'm blessed with those friends. And the church, the church is like Church of the Firstborn, you know, uh, pre-NSWC, a.k.a. CNT, uh, Church of the Testament, um, you know, Joey Brittle's church, Redeeming Family Church, you know, Pastor Steve Rodriguez's church, His Mercy Church. I made a lot of friends with them, and just, just I rejoice that I have a lot of friends. You know, even Pastor Gilly and his family, and I'm blessed to have that, that to have those people in my life, and you know, I got my own family. It just, it just comes to show you, it comes, it comes to show you how, you know, like I say, you know, that's why I'm more relaxed now, more happy. Yeah, I have a new job. You know, two years ago I had this job now, and just you know, and the more I work. The more relaxed, the more happy I feel. You know, there's sometimes just challenges here and there. There's sometimes coworkers that annoy you, but you know what? That's not you know. That's just part of life. You know, you just got to put up with it. You know, like I said, just more than challenge. I don't let that bother me at all. You know, just just to let everyone know out there that you know, you know, you know, hug someone. You know, let them know that you love them. You know, you know, if it's a close friend, if it's a BFF or your girlfriend, boyfriend. You know, you know. If it's your homie, your brother, your best friend, you know, your father, your mother, you know, just let them know you love them. And I love my family, you know. They can be sometimes annoying, but you know what? I love them because that's who they are. Because, you know, and they love me back. And that's and that's the thing. You know, I love my family, you know. I love my uh, church, uh, church family. Whether you're where you, used to, where you go to the church in the New Testament or attend New Season Worship Center, try to keep them separate. I don't know why I do that, but I'm a weirdo. So it's, bear with me here, folks. Uh, church of the firstborn, uh, church of the firstborn, um, what was it, Redeeming Family Church, all the churches, past and present, all those people, you know, even in from the Christian schools, thank you all for loving me, for me, and I praise God for you guys every single day in my life. Like I said, you you inspire, you guys inspire me. You know, a lot of you, you, know, you guys inspire me in more ways than one. You know, you inspire me with my personality. You know how I should get my personality going how you inspire me to be creative and that's you know that has been my you know my thing you know being creative that's why you know I think you know I thank goodness for YouTube thing the, the World Wide Web for the internet because you know you get to you know make yourself heard out there you know I make mistakes I'm not perfect you know what this is the best I can come up with with the set and everything else yeah it's from the base you know what's weird yes but the fact is this is what I like to do you know I like to you know be positive for you guys out there. Just you know, put, be you know, be happy. Smile for once, you know. I could, I'm bringing back the comedy once this week's over. That way, because emotionally, just you know, it's like, you know, like you know, keep the keep the plane steady, keep the plane steady, you know, keep it steady now. And you know, you want to, you want to go in hyper speed, you know. Like I said, we have a lot to uh, to do this weekend. Obviously, we have a memorial service for Mark Supernot. And so, and those of you know know where our church is, great. You know, hope I hope to see you there. Now, uh, but I can understand why you know you have a you know church. You know, who knows? Who knows what God's gonna? Who knows what what's gonna happen? You know, who knows what's gonna happen? You know, there's a saying in the WWE: anything can happen. It, it's it's life. Anything can happen in life. Anything can happen. Like this on this, you know, Mark Supernot when he died this Monday. You know, it happened. It happens. You know, things happen. Things happen though within re for a reason. You know. You know, even Mark. You know, Mark wanted to make sure that everyone's all right. And everyone's okay. He knew it was his time was coming. We didn't know when. And uh, you know, quite frankly, you know, just to, you know, people. Uh, you know, sometimes people get upset and angry why he had to die and all that. He was young and everything else, you know. You know, hey, listen, you know, it happens for, things happen for a reason, you know. And they said, oh, all the good ones, uh, all the good ones die young. I know, 
I know. Up. I know. Hold up. Hold up. I know. And, uh, and, uh, just, uh, <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy, you know? It's, it's crazy. It's just, um, like I said. But, when I, while, while my pastor was talking and he was preaching from the Bible, I took a look around. There was a lot of people, a lot of people, a lot of old faces I run into, you know, giving hugs to people. And just, you know, that's how many lives Mark has touched. It just is a testimony in itself of all those lives that Mark has touched. Just all of us in the circle surrounding the casket that has his body in it. But he is not there. He's up there. You know, having fun, possibly telling a few jokes and having a few laughs. And like I said, you just, it just, I was amazed about the, the, the attendance there. I knew when my grandfather died back in 2004, there was a lot of people at the wake. And it was like, they said it was over 800 people or something like that. I was like, my grandfather touched the, that many lives? Jeez. Wow. It's, it's mind blowing. You know, it's mind blowing. But when I looked around, there was a lot of people. Like I said, you know, Gina was there. You know, Chris Green until um, to Letston. I can't pronounce the last name. And I hope Chris can help me out with this one. Uh, we always we always known her as Chris Green. Uh, the Gagnons, you know, Rob, uh, Robert and uh, Debbie Gagnon with their daughter Melissa. Uh, it's great seeing them again. You know, the Cormiers were there. And just, you know, like, like I said before, you know, like the old saying, it was great seeing you, but was, I wish it was under better circumstances, obviously. But it brought us together. Hey, Mark, you know, Mark, what did he brought us together? I'm sure Mark must be beaming in he heaven and probably telling the Lord, to God, this is what it's all about, bringing brothers and sisters together. He probably had a smile on his face right now telling the Lord, God, that's what it's all about. He probably looked at Mark and go, God, that's what it's all about. This is what it's all about, you know. Just, uh, just you know, like I said, it's great seeing everyone again. Like I said, obviously, it's under, uh, obviously, I wish it was uh, under better circumstances. However, hope we see each other again, though. I like to see, you know, a lot of you guys, just not just on Facebook and just not online. Just you know, you can chat with me if you want my email. If you guys want my email, I encourage you to contact me at elima77 at gmail dot com. All lowercase letters, please. I want, you know, I like to hear from you guys. And, you know, just, you know, give me a feedback on the videos I made. You know, I've got a lot of positive feedback. That's why I'm still going to continue this. I don't care if there's any haters out there. I don't care if they say, oh, your video stinks. We'll dislike it. Oh, come on. You know, like that's going to keep me away from YouTube. Right. Trust me on this one. It ain't happening. I'm staying. The People's Lima is here. He is here to stay. That's right. And if y'all have a problem with that, guess what? Say the drama for your mama. All right? So, for, for those who like my videos, I encourage you to keep on watching them. They may be long. They may be boring. <sighs> oh, wake up. Oh, oh, hey. Oh, 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 oh. Hey. Hey. Mel Gibson. <laughs> my Lenny Clark impression. If you want to know what that's all about. Um, just to let you know, like... Like I said, we miss Mark. Um, you know, we'll, we'll see him again one day, and um, hope you guys tune uh, tune in for another uh, another exciting episode of the People's Lima, and the show will continue with a couple of a few videos, just a little bit in the hiatus and so Wait, the second season. <laughs> like, like I said, so just thank you guys and uh, love you guys. Rock on, peace out. Hope your day. Hits the bullseye. Hashtag win hard. That's the deal. What's up?